Welcome back to another edition of This Month at the TNM. Today we want to take a look at the big innovation we made this year, being able to collect legal petition signatures online. The petition page is accessible from the TNM homepage, and pretty much any page, by clicking on the petition link in the top menu. This will take you to the petition page. This page has tons of information on it and should be able to answer just about any question you or anyone else may have about the petition. If you haven't signed it yet, get busy and start the process here. Signing the petition is just the first step. What we really need to do is to get every voter in Texas to sign as well. Each of us has a network of people we know or correspond with. Each of these people also have networks of people that they know and correspond with. It's this power of networking that will give us the advantage we need to get the number of signatures required to push this over the finish line. Remember, these links are available both on your desktop as well as on your mobile device. The petition page makes it simple to share the petition with your social media correspondence. Links are available for all the major social media platforms, so a simple click allows you to share on each media platform easily. While you will want to share it as a general post, we found that it's also very effective to target individuals when you share. Let's take a look at how we can do this. If you click on the Facebook icon, it will automatically bring up your Share on Facebook window. By default, it will share the story on your timeline. You definitely want to do this. You also have some other options. You can share on a friend's timeline, to a group. Sharing as an event doesn't really make sense, so I wouldn't recommend choosing that one. But you can also share it as a private message to individuals. When you select this option, you're asked to fill in the list of names of individuals that you want to DM or direct message this story to. Don't worry, you, ha you don't have to remember everyone. When you start typing their Facebook name, it'll pop up a list that you can choose from. Same with Twitter or X or whatever it's going to be called. One click launches a window with your tweet all ready to go you have the option to choose everyone or a Twitter circle you have set up. Looking at the same petition page on my mobile phone, you can see that the same set of social media links, this time along the bottom of the screen. Clicking on the SMS link launches your messaging app with the link filled in and ready to go. All you have to do is address who you want to send the message to and send it. If you have Telegram installed, clicking on this link will bring up your Telegram screen with the petition link ready to go. The email icon will launch your email program with a new message prepared with a link to the petition page. This would be a good time to point out that all these links contain your ID. What this means is that whenever someone you have sent the petition information to using any of the methods that we've been discussing, you will automatically get credit for the contact when they sign the petition. That's pretty cool. If you have LinkedIn, clicking on this link will pop up a LinkedIn window that will allow you to share the petition link as either a post or a pri uh, private message. Remember, it's a good idea to do both. If you have some other creative way to get the important news of our petition campaign out to the world, you can click on this button to copy the link, again with your ID attached, so you'll get credit for the signature. That's how easy it is to spread the word on this crucial campaign. With your help, and the help of your network of correspondents, we'll get the petition signatures we need to get the question out on the 2024 primary ballot. We have a limited time to do this, so let's get going on it. That's it for this month. Keep up the good work, and we'll see you again next month.